Hi, I'm Dr. John. I'm a family doctor practicing in Toronto. Welcome to my main doctor channel where I help you stay at your prime. I want to cover one of the most common chronic diseases affecting our society and that is COPD. Let's get started. Have you ever heard of COPD? No. Do you know what COPD is? COPD? Yeah. Canadian optic. COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, in which lung airways become inflamed and narrowed and the little air sacs become damaged. And when I was diagnosed with COPD, at the same time I quit smoking. Smoking is by far the most common cause of this damage. As the damage continues over time, it becomes more and more difficult to breathe. To sum it up real fast, it's just like you're drowning. COPD includes both chronic bronchitis, which means inflammation of the airways called bronchi, as well as emphysema, which means destruction and damage to the little air sacs where oxygen ultimately gets from the air into your bloodstream. It is important to understand how our lungs work before we can understand COPD and why it develops. I don't understand. Normally, the air that we breathe passes from the nose and mouth through the airways called the bronchi, ultimately ending up in the tiny little air sacs called alveoli. In these tiny air sacs, the oxygen in the air passes through the thin wall of the air sac into the bloodstream. Four more weeks of oxygen. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, is a waste product that is produced by the cells of our body. It goes into the bloodstream and is passed in reverse direction to the airways and then eliminated by breathing it out. Just breathe normal, fellas. In people who develop COPD, chronic inhalation of irritating gases such as cigarette smoke or air pollution causes damage to the airways over time. This damage causes inflammation and chronic inflammation could lead to scarring. Ultimately, this chronic lung damage makes it more difficult to breathe air in and out of the lungs, making it more difficult for oxygen to come in and for carbon dioxide to come out. Alrighty then. Smoking cigarettes significantly increases your risk of developing COPD. However, there is a certain percentage of people that develop COPD that have never smoked in their life. Other risk factors include exposure to secondhand smoking, exposure to dangerous chemicals at a workplace, or air pollution. This is the world as it exists today. COPD can also run in the family. If you're someone who has COPD run in your family or you've developed it at a very young age, ask your doctor if you would benefit from a test for a protein deficiency that protects the lungs called alpha-1 antitrypsin. Say what? COPD symptoms range from mild symptoms at first that tend to progress as the disease worsens over time. These include coughing, bringing up sputum and phlegm, wheezing, having shortness of breath, and having chronic fatigue. COPD affects every part of my daily living. If you have been having these symptoms, ask your doctor if you would benefit from a lung test called pulmonary function test, which is a test we use to diagnose COPD. This test measures the level of airway obstruction called spirometry. During this test, you take a deep breath and then blow it out into a tube as fast as you can into a machine that's called a spirometer. This test is measuring how much air and how fast you can blow it out of your lungs. If the test is abnormal, what happens next is you will be given a puff of a medication that will open up your lungs and you will repeat the test. If you have COPD, the repeat lung test may only partially improve or may not improve at all. This is different from a patient that has asthma in whom the repeat lung test after taking the medication to open up the lungs may improve substantially. Tomorrow night, Allegra Cole could have her last first kiss. We'll cover asthma in a separate video, but basically asthma is also a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways. Triggers for airway inflammation and asthma can include exposure to an inhaled virus, inhaled allergen, or an irritant. Asthma can also cause people to have coughing, wheezing, and breathlessness, but unlike in COPD, in patients with asthma, airway tightening can be almost completely reversed with the inhaled medications that open up the airways. In COPD, the airway obstruction is usually more permanent and usually cannot be reversed fully. That's just great! The most important treatment for COPD is if you are a smoker to stop smoking. It doesn't matter how long you've had COPD for and how severe it is, 
it will stop the progression of the disease. Currently, there is no cure for COPD, but there's many treatments available that could make your symptoms better. I will be making a separate video to cover the treatments for COPD in the future. Talk to your doctor about what treatments may be correct for you. Another very important thing for you to do is to get your flu shot every year and for you to get your pneumonia vaccination at least once every 5 to 10 years depending on where you live. Flu and pneumonia can be very hard on your lungs, therefore it's very important that you prevent these. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on notifications for more videos. Please visit my website mymaindoctor.com for more content and videos on how to stay at your prime. This was Dr. John, I wish you lots of love and I'll see you in the next one.